Hello all. In my town there is a huge river and it was very difficult to get on the other side of the river where we had our school. For this our mayor decided to make a bridge on the river so that everyone can have the access to the other side of the river and the students can travel safely. After a few weeks when the construction was about to complete I saw that some of the engineers were talking about the sides and the angles of the triangle formed while the construction I got a little curious as I was also studying these things in my class so out of curiosity I went there and asked them what they were discussing They were saying things like if the length of two sides of the triangle are same then the angles will also be equal Equilateral and isosceles triangles are often used in constructions of bridges because they help in distributing the weight and forces to spread across the bridge evenly. So, we can go ahead with the construction without worrying about the angles. We just need to keep the two sides equal at all the times. I was surprised to know that How can they go ahead with such big constructions without having solid proofs? Then later, I asked the engineer, "Are you sure that the angles will be equal if the sides are equal?" She said, "Yes. You know what an isosceles triangle is?" I was happy as I studied that in the previous year. I said, "Yes." And also added, It is a triangle with two equal sides. She asked me to think a little harder about the angles too. I recollected that yes, the angles opposite to the equal sides of the triangle are also equal. She said, "See, you know that the angles will be equal if the sides are equal. But let me help you by proving this so that you won't be worried about the bridge." I agreed and said okay. Well, have a look at the big triangle on the bridge. The two sides are equal there. Now how do I know that? Because we have cut the sides of equal length and later formed this triangle. Now I want to confirm that the angles opposite will also be equal, right? Now can you think of some direct ideas that can happen? Well, I was a little blank. She gave me a hint that we will use the criteria of congruency here. I asked, but we need two triangles for that. She said, "Why don't you make this one triangle into two small triangles?" That made sense, as both the angles we need to prove will now be in two different triangles, and. If we prove the triangles equal then by using the property of corresponding angles of congruent triangles we can prove that the angles will be equal Things were getting a little clear by now but then it popped up in my mind how will we decide that how to draw this line We have just one side equal we will need either two more sides or two more angles or one side and one angle more she explained three scenarios first this line can be any arbitrary line this will not help us at all as we will not get any sides or any angles equal the second scenario where this line can be an angle bisector well angle bisector divides one angle into two equal angles and because of this we will get one angle equal and there will be a common side now the triangles will be equal using the sas criteria of congruency and the angles will be equal by the corresponding angle property
Now if we add just two lines here, then we can also prove that angle bisector is also the perpendicular bisector of the isosceles triangle. And the property used here will be linear pair of angles. Now the third scenario where this line can also be a median. Now here she asked me what the property of median is. Now median is a line that divides a segment in two equal lengths. So in this case we will use SSS criteria of congruency and the angles will be equal by the corresponding angle property. Well, she said, I hope this was easy to understand. And yes, it was. Then I asked, the opposite will also be true, right? In return, she asked, 2 plus 2 is? I said 4. But will 4 always be equal to 2 plus 2? No, right? It can be 3 plus 1 or 0 plus 4 or 1 multiplied by 4 etc. They can be various possibilities. Now this is the reason why we prove the converse 2. Well, you know the steps. So I said that we will take a triangle and construct an angle bisector. Now, because of angle bisector, we will get one angle equal and a common side and the triangles will be congruent and by using the corresponding sides property, we can prove that the sides will also be equal and well, we just prove if the two angles of a triangle are equal, then the sides opposite to them will also be equal. I was happy to know that whatever we studied in mathematics is actually used in real life. I hope you guys have enjoyed this session. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment down your queries and don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon and never miss another update from Let's Tute. Till then, keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.